Greetings everyone, this is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. And before I go on to do my next video talk show, I am stopping by from my immediate area off Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, the one and only, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld Netflix series, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. That's right. It is in my close area, and, and it, I love it here. Outstanding food, outstanding coffee, and I will go in soon before I go on to do my next show. Okay. James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions here. And uh, aside from the famous Bendix Diner in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, Route 17 South, right behind the famous Teterboro Airport where everyone with private jets lands who wish to visit New York City. I, we are right next door, directly next door to the famous Bananas Comedy Club in the Holiday Inn on Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey. And there it is. The famous Bananas Comedy Club with a very highly rated Gabriel's Restaurant. Uh, I have a question for the amulet. No, you do. What is it? Um, the fact that that Trump wants to keep the FBI um, investigation private and have only the Congress and Senate see it. it are they setting? Are they going to lie about Kavanaugh so just so he can get in? Who? Like, in other words, the media. Okay, Trump wants Trump? to hide from the media the FBI investigation, the new FBI investigation. Why do you want to ask? Is Trump going to lie about Kavanaugh? He only wants the Senate and Congress to, to see the the the. Uh, the so-called president we have, Donald Trump, is he going to lie about Kavanaugh? Yeah. So the FBI probe. Isn't that odd? He doesn't want the media to hear the, the FBI results. Well, I thought, I thought our Constitution says we the people. The government is for the people, by the people. So why are you keeping it from the people? Explain and, that to me. And you notice that Ka Kavanaugh's comments sound a lot like uh, Donald Trump, like when he was in Yale University. Is Trump an embarrassment to the Constitution of the United States? Yep. Yeah, get the quick question. Well, I was trying. I was trying to c condense it. No, you weren't. I had to condense it for you. Well, I, I, I was. That's why I wasn't ready. Be ready. Prepare. <laughs> um. So yeah, the very fact that he only wants Congress, the Republican yeah, Cong no, no, Congress, and the Senate, that's stupid, and not the media. What else you want to know? Is is Kavanaugh's college days? The things that he didn't say sounded a lot like what Trump does. Are they? Does he like Kavanaugh because he's? Does he? Does he? Does he like Kavanaugh because Kavanaugh's a lot like him? This nominee for the Supreme Court, Kavanaugh. He went to Yale, as you know. Is he lying about a lot of his stuff that he did or didn't do? Yes, he is lying. Okay. So you just get right to the question. But I'm right? saying, but he sounds a lot like Trump, like oh. in a lot of stuff he's What's that he said. To be? be proud. No, but, but to a delusional, narcissistic, egomaniac. A lot of more. To, uh, like Trump. He's not a president. He's a fake president. Oh, I know why he sounded like Trump because he was doing the fake news bullshit. Those who you don't hear anymore about for the past couple of weeks is Jeff Sessions. Oh, he's he's not in the limelight anymore. Good for him. I bet he's glad. So. Oh yeah, he was getting ripped apart. Not really. I think the public knew Trump's just a bitch and was on his back. Oh, I know what Kavanaugh said that reminded me of Trump. He says, 
all this is a Democrat conspiracy against him. The, the questioning. Kavanaugh, the nominee for the Supreme Court claims, these hearings and everything are a Democratic conspiracy against him. Is this true? There you go. He's playing the fake news card. Well, kind of like throwing in a race card. Yeah, exactly. If the glove don't fit, you must acquit. Is Remember that? Kavanaugh, would he be a good fit for the Supreme Court? Yeah, make your questions quick. Yeah. The point. yeah. You, you notice how how defensive he got during the uh, questioning, and angry he got. Like well, a, sure, when you have something to hide. Oh, well, that's not true. It's different characters ouch. too. I might get pissed off if it was true. You're accusing me of something too. Right. But, but the bottom line, he's not a good fit. He is not a good fit. Yeah, considering how long a Supreme Court justice is, is there. Does Kavanaugh have a lot to hide in his past? Oh, wow. What are you going to do, Russ? Quick now, um, should Supreme Court justices have term limits? Well, that's how I feel. I feel. Russ. Being appointed for a lifetime appointeeship on the Supreme Court make any sense? No. It's like popes. It's like the Pope. You're in for life. They should be elected every. They should go in for two terms. Well, I don't know about two terms. Senators can be re-elected to six, seven, eight yeah. terms. Well, they should be elected. But you should have to be re-elected back in. Yeah. Yeah. For that's what the people want. Right. Otherwise, you have fascism. Uh, you have fascism. Uh, yeah, but why is that the only thing that you're elected for a lifetime of women? Why is that the Supreme Court? I don't get it. And the word supreme is even like... You're, you're, no, you're not supreme. You're like something from a science fiction movie. Who was the Grand Poobah Wizard, the Supreme Yeah, Court. Ming the Merciless on Buster I mean, Crab. Really? Let's stop it. I mean, Flash Gordon. Buster Crab yeah, was the actor. ridiculous. Yeah. Come on. What are they, monarchs, for God's sakes? I don't know why we don't change it. And other things like gerrymandering and the Electoral College. The electoral and, college is bullshit. Or the uh, super delegates. That's all bullshit. Trump lost in my book. Oh, he did? Technically, sure. Is the Electoral College a total little bullshit? Yeah, so they can rig the Does elections. Does Trump actually lose the election? There you go. Trump technically, uh, no, in, in a fair world. He lost by four million. He lost. There's no argument. He, he lost. lost by four million. And, and I told people <laughs> we discussed here, we play baseball. I get six runs, you get four. Do you win the game? No. End of argument, don't argue. End of right. argument. When when, when a horse loses the triple crown you know, by, yeah, by a nose. You, you know, you know, I said, where did they get this stuff? You get you get last, but you win. I said, explain that to me. Doesn't, doesn't work four that way in sports. Million, no less. I said, come on. The electoral college. And well, that's why some of these states all banded together. So far, 11. To fight the electoral. Oh, they're deaf. They want to wipe out all this cheating. Well, no, they're going to make it automatic. Like whoever gets a popular vote in the state automatically gets their electoral yeah. votes. Yeah, and, and you explained it perfectly just before. Yeah, that's all you get. The most gets it all. Yeah. It's just, it's not right. No. And it's, it's actually basic you common lose sense. You and you win. Yeah, how do you... Explain that to yeah, me. Yeah, I don't get this. That doesn't make sense how at all. How can this be? You know our good buddy Joseph is. Yeah, I feel like busting his chops. Too bad he's not here. Somebody to pick on. If you like the old C and I, they got a, a shipment, a new shipment of those. C and I. That I'll get you another one if you want. C and I. That. Well, the seeing eye. Seeing eye. I think it's a C and I. Oh, oh, oh! By the way, Ancient Aliens was great last night. You know the? I didn't know the obelisk were made out of granite, but I didn't know that granite contains a large amount of quartz crystal. Not in LA, and they said that the top of the obelisk is Which a... Which obelisk? You know the crystal that, that I ordered for you? 
all of them. They're made out of gran granite, which has a lot of quartz crystal. And they said because well, of quartz crystal is in the granite. The ones were, it's not the granite. It's no, the it's quartz the quartz crystal. crystal in the granite. Those, the rock quartz crystals possess great power. Okay. Yep. They said it's like an it's like a, a mystical antenna. Well, what do you what do you think the thirteen crystal skulls are made of? Mayan skulls, yeah. There you go, thirteen of them. But the obelisk, which is like the Washington Monument, is a pyramid on top, and it's it's like an antenna. Like j actually, that crystal is an yeah, obelisk. Well, again, so are the uh, the energy given off by the guy that measured all that from the, the pyramids too. They give off energy. Yeah. He went up there with the machines and it measured everything. You know, you know the um, ancient Egyptian city of uh, was it Karnak? They it, they use red granite in all those stone buildings, and granite has a lot of quartz crystal in it. Yeah. People don't understand. And that thing, I the, the crystal I got you that that's an obelisk. If you look at it, it's like the Washington Monument. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I should order it, but I'm afraid I might I might fumble and drop it on the floor. You'll break it. <laughs> well, if I get it, I'm gonna have to carry a pillow with you. Now you know what I'll do. I'll get. I got some water. I got some waterproof plumber's glue. I'll glue it to the where I got my crystal pyramids to the tray. No, I don't think you should debate the face of okay, the, how, the body. Okay, itself. I'll use tape. I'll use tape. No, I wouldn't do anything. Put anything foreign on it. I mean, have it stick up. Well, I, I got a pyramid made of quartz crystal, so that's good. I know. If I, I already have a pyramid made of that, so that's yeah, just be careful with it. It's good enough. The all seeing, you know, that's why there's an eye on the on the the Egyptian eye on the um, the pyramid on the these. Well, in their in their hieroglyphics, their uh, um, cuneiform. Not cuneiform, but none of them were visited. None of the pharaohs were visited by our Anunnaki. They have the cartouche. None were visited by the Anunnaki. Were any of the Egyptian pharaohs visited by? Were any of the Egyptian pharaohs visited by the Anunnaki? Yeah, the god Akhenaten. You ever hear about him? No, none of them were visited. But, but there's a there's a, a man. There was a pharaoh named Akhenaten, or a god. Akhenaten. That was a, uh, They came from the sky, from the stars. No, he wasn't a god. No, he was. Uh, but he didn't visit with any of the pharaohs. Did any of the Anunnaki ever visit any of the pharaohs? Oh boy. Can you head over a minute? Yeah. Those ruins they found, that a shepherd found in mountains of Turkey, to over 12,000 years old. Well, that's which what they found, you wonder how much more is out there we don't even know about. It. Which, which it totally changed, which totally changes what they originally thought. What, what's the oldest civilization? There's a lot out there we don't know yet. And they, and tw they said 12,000 years was the very end of the ice age. Now just think about. That kind of construction. Think about when we get to see it. When the Anunnaki released the videos and audios of all ever since before mankind. It's a you can't you stick. Can actually see. You can't stick a piece of paper know, in between the stones. They were, they've got a video of it. You can see what went on even before man back then. And here, think what that's going to be like. Everything ever done before mankind ever since has been recorded. I bet the lost continent of Atlantis, their civilization was so advanced. Mm -hmm. Due to extraterrestrials, I bet. Oh, yeah. I've already done that. Yeah, Edgar Casey used to talk about Atlantis all the time in his sleeping uh, uh, the visions he got. Do you know where? Actually, honestly, know where the lost city of Atlantis is? And they destroyed themselves. Did you tell me one day when we sit down and I just said, by the process of elimination, asking different locations and oceans. There you go. And, and you and you have it down pat. Your system of of elimination. Yep. You you can now. I bet you can even get 
Powerball lottery numbers if you wanted to play. I said, can you give me the numbers to win the lottery? He said, yes. And you can ask what day you should said, buy it. I said, no. I said, if we have to sit down and eliminate numbers, can you help me? He said, yes. Yes. Yeah, so should I buy it today? Yeah. Should I buy it tomorrow? So. And you break it down. So. Morning, afternoon, evening, you know, whatever. You can even do that with a scratch off if you wanted to buy a scratch off ticket. Well, I've asked him, should I play Quick Dick? And he said no. When, should I play Win for Life? No. I said, should I play Quick Dick? He said no. Should I play my own numbers? He said yes. Why? Yeah, some some old guy says, "Why don't you let the machine pick it?" Why? Why let the machine pick it? Well, if, no, if, no, no, no. A lot of winners have won on quick picks. Let's be fair yeah. here. No, but I mean, using the amulet, it, you, you you stand a better chance than using your own head. You know. What makes your brain feel better is it's telling you something. Yeah. Hey, look at the Yankees. They, that was a fluke. That was a fluke game with, against the Red Sox. Uh, I'm follow my orders, so. Eleven. What did they win? Eleven to eleven eight. Five or eleven eight, maybe. All of a sudden, the so the Yankees must have beat the other wild card team they played because I haven't followed it. The wild card is in Yankee Stadium against Oakland. Oh, so they. Well, I guess they beat Oakland because they're, they're playing the, the Eastern Division champs. With the stupid new... No, they're not. Eastern Division champs are the Red Sox. The Red Sox, but the Yankees... Are playing Oakland. It's Western Division. But how come I was watching the Yankees-Red Sox game that... It's still the yeah, it's still, oh, it is? About two or so more games ago. Oh, it has? Yeah. So, so that was not over yet. Okay, that wasn't a postseason game. No. no. They're racing right now, 82. Uh, is that... Is, is When's it start? Tuesday or Wednesday? That's a one game and you're done, or a one and done? Yeah. Is Aaron Judge back off the, the DL list? Yeah. Oh, because I thought he was going to pull an A-Rod. He's going to be on the DL list forever. And go out with, you know, uh, Hollywood celebrities. Yeah. Well, they, well, I mean, I can't blame him for, for that. At least he's smart enough not to marry any of them. Yet. Yet. Now he's, going, he's dating J-Lo. Uh, who? Alex Rodriguez. Oh, what I hear he's a he's not a nice guy. Well, he charges an awful lot for his autograph. You no, know, my friend's three hundred bucks. My friend's flying. Oh, he's not very. Afraid. No, they said he's like, it's like an arrogant. Yeah. 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 I think he and J-Lo kind of deserve each other. Uh, yeah. Birds of a feather flock it together, right? Babe Ruth, like he loved kids. You know why? Because he was in an orphan. He was an orphan. No, well, not no, an orphan. No, not really, an no. orphan. His father owned, owned a tavern. Pratt Street, where second base is in Camden Yards, supposedly. But, hmm. They think it was Pratt Street in Baltimore. He was an orphan. He was put into a home for I think uh, reform school. Type he, thing. Yeah, he was a rascal when he was a kid. He was a juvenile delinquent. Because yeah. I think I think his father it was just. Yeah, the saloon. He was a saloon owner. He was a what? Saloon owner. Saloon they, that's owner, when they yeah. called them saloons. And then they called them gin mills, right? Yeah, well, they don't call a men's store a haberdashery anymore, do they? Yeah, some places they do. Like Brooks Brothers would be they a haberdashery. Still do. You remember that store? Oh, man. I hope things work out. Mommy pulls through. At least, her, at least her vitals are good. And my sister's telling me, "Oh, she goes into cardiac arrest. I want her not to be resuscitated." Like DNR? Yeah, like if, if the heart stops. DNR, DNR, resuscitated. Yeah, she. I says only if only if it's a if if it requires radical life saving, like. I want them to do everything in their power to Why save. Why you ask the ambulance? You never ask questions like this. I ask you what do you I want know, to ask. I'm, I'm so stressed up. out. How can I remember everything? You have to read the things you want to know. Yeah, I know. I don't know. Things you want to know. You know, I, I got to deal with my, my, my own pain and I'm dealing oh, with my pain. mother. Your own pain is nothing. 
I know, I know, I know. No, I know that. It's you know, your mind is. My friend Jimmy Madonna, is he ever going to pull through and get well and survive this recent bout with pneumonia? Good. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Ask questions, Jim. Well, I like your system. I like your process of elimination. Yeah, get to the point. Ask questions. Bam. No, I, I like. I, well, I like how you utilize it by eliminating many things until you yeah. get the direct answer. That's all you do. It's like you know, that's why I was when I did super, super tech. No, it's it's not about on, only getting to the point. It's that you have a scientific yeah, yeah, you system. Know, you know what I mean? You don't want to bore an audience to death either. You want to be concise and precise. Yeah. 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 Well, it's not, you have to use process of, <coughs> process of elimination to get exact answers. I told you what happened to my Citizen Watch. I When the battery went dead, I left it in and something leaked out. What happens is something leaks out of the watch battery and it kills it killed a five hundred dollar watch, but I didn't buy it, you know. Maggie got it for me. Wanna go? Yeah, let's get out of let's get out of here. Okay, James P. Madonna expediting Gabriel's uh, fabulous uh, grill and bar and the uh, famous Bananas Comedy Club Holiday Inn uh, Route 17 South Hasbro Kites from Jersey I just got done having a, a wonderful meal and a pint of Yinling Lager with William H. Morrow the third after after our uh, progressive discussions super tech edition get together show I'm there's a wedding reception uh, right now that just ended and they're going to have a Bananas Comedy Club. So uh, I am departing. Okay. I will, t I will be taking my usual shortcut. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.